Hey guys, it's Bub here, and in this video, we're going to be taking a first look at Windows 10 version 21H1. This build, also known as 19043.928, is still in the beta channel and the release channel, so this isn't an officially released build, something you can't download. You have to be a Windows Insider to take a look at this build. This build is also known as 21H1, which is expected to release in the late part of this month or early June. Microsoft said officially that it will come in the late part of the first half of the year. This, Microsoft has said that this is pretty much the final build of Microsoft Windows 10 21H1, which will be released to the public at that later time. So in this video, we're going to be taking a look at the operating system, seeing what's changed, and should you upgrade. So, let's take a look, and let's get started. First, let's take a look at some of the UI changes. A lot of the UI changes that we saw inside of Windows 10 build 21.343 are not found in this build. For example, if you remember, in the file explorer, there were different icons for all these objects here, like local disk and our desktop, all these folders. Those icons are not seen in this build of Windows 10, so many of those UI changes really didn't make it. So overall, if we just take a general look around the operating system and the user interface, there are no noticeable changes. Everything looks exactly the same as it did in 20H2, so this is a not really significant upgrade for those who are looking for UI changes, because we're simply not going to find that in this specific build. And as we can see here, something that still hasn't changed, ads in Windows 10, we still are getting Microsoft ads for the free 365 trial, so that's something that we just have to keep note of. However, one thing that has changed in Windows 10 21 H1 is security and stability. As for stability, everything just seems faster and more snappier, but everything seems more responsive compared to my 20 H2 version that I'm running on my main PC, and overall everything just seems snappier, is more responsive, and yeah, everything, it's just responsive. As for the security part, Microsoft has listed these three things. Windows Defender Application Guard has had performance improvements, for example, optimizing document opening scenario times. So Windows Security has basically gotten a performance improvement, so we are excited to see that as Windows 10 gets more and more secure, and we, and we get to move away from those paid antiviruses and just using the Windows built-in antivirus. Microsoft calls that performance improvement a security-related performance improvement, so it's a performance improvement for security, obviously. Microsoft has said that there have been security changes to the Windows app platform and framework, as well as Windows apps, the Windows kernel, virtualization, Internet Explorer, and Windows Media. So we're excited to see all of these security changes inside of Windows 10, which really makes our operating system more secure and more enjoyable. So we are looking forward to that coming in 21H1. So as for new features, we can take a look at this on the Windows blog where they introduced 21H1. Microsoft has said that 21H1 will have a scoped set of features that improve security, remote access, and quality. This is simply because as the world has moved to more remote learning and more remote work, there needs to be more ways for IT admins to manage their computers and for people who are working at home to remote into computers that may still be at their office. So they're improving more remote access and security security to keep these devices safe because we've moved a lot of stuff to technology. To me, this just seems worded really weird, so I'm going to read it exactly how it says. Windows Management or WMI Group Policy Service updating performance improvement to support more remote work scenarios. So I know that sounds really weird, but that's how it's written. So obviously they've upgraded, they've updated a group policy service that allows remote work scenarios to occur more seamlessly, more efficiently, and more things like that. So this is for Windows Hello multi-camera support. So if you have an external camera on your for Windows Hello that's compatible with Windows Hello, the default camera will automatically be that external connected camera. So instead of defaulting to the internal built-in Windows Hello camera, it will automatically use the one that you've plugged in, which I think that is pretty nice and you don't have to go mess with configuration settings to get that to work. But yeah, overall, this update is relatively a boring one. There aren't really many new features, as it focuses primarily on stability and security, which isn't necessarily a bad thing. That's actually considerably a really good thing, because security and stability is what Windows 10 really needs right now. 
However, this build of Windows 10 really paves the road for 21H2, which is expected to be the Windows 10 Sun Valley redesign. Right now, they can focus on security and stability and getting Windows to that point, and then later this year, they can focus on the redesign and things like we saw in Windows 10 21 343. So like I said, this build is very fast and very stable, and I can't wait to update to this edition of Windows 10 on my PC. So I know this video was a short one, and I just wanted to give you a little overview on this new build of Windows 10 21 H1. I'm really excited for this. This is the first official release of Windows 10 in 2021, and I'm looking forward to having this and experiencing it every day on my main computers. And so with that being said, thank you so much for watching this video. Make sure to like and subscribe if you're new around here as I do all kinds of different videos, including device restorations. And with that being said, I'm eager to see you guys in the next video.